Welcome everybody to Parent with Purpose. And if you are on the internet at all right now, you are very much aware of games and different things that are happening that are trying to entice our children to do things that they shouldn't be doing. And we're talking severe things, not just you know, little pranks. These are severe things and quite often what they're trying to encourage kids to do is to hurt themselves. And today our guest speaker is Meredith, and she ended up sharing something on Facebook. It was a picture that her daughter had, had drew after she was watching a game. And so we're going to kind of just jump right into it a little bit and talk to Meredith and find out kind of her life and what happened and so that we can all become a little more educated and aware and keep our kids safe. So welcome, Meredith. Thank you. And so, Meredy, tell us uh, a little bit about this story. Basically, it, it just kind of started that Sunday night before she drew the picture. She had an anxiety attack. So I, I watched her struggle to breathe. She started sweating. I asked her what was going on. She said she didn't feel right. So I, I immediately recognized that she was having this anxiety attack. So I yeah. grabbed her, held her, rocked her, sang to her just so that she could just kind of breathe her way through it and then she fell asleep because she was exhausted so I wasn't able to speak with her that evening about what on earth would have triggered that and then the next day at school her teacher texted me the picture of the drawing so I immediately left work went to her so I could sit down and find out what was going on with her that was causing And that's where she told me about these videos that she was watching on YouTube and kids YouTube and the bullying going on, on on the games, which I myself did not allow her to play, but I was able to get from her father later that he was, he didn't understand that was happening on there and he was allowing her to play that. Mm -hmm. But she explained that the drawing, she got the idea of the hanging from the Doki Doki video. And it starts out very cutesy. It's cartoon girls singing. And about two minutes in, it starts showing suicide scenes and self-harm. And that's where she got the idea of hanging herself. And the anxiety attack was triggered because of the filthy Frank videos going around where he shows you how to slit your wrists. So she had the anxiety attack because she had the desire to go get a knife and hurt herself. And she mentally fought with herself to not do it. Sorry if I get emotional. No, no, totally understand. But it triggered this anxiety attack in her. She's seven. It was not something I was prepared for her to have to deal with at that age. And then going on and seeing these videos that she told me about just made me sick to my stomach of what was on there and what she had access to. And that's why I made the post that I made because if I had no idea about this, how many other parents don't have a clue? We watch for 30 seconds or so it looks safe and we trust that it's safe and it's not so as uh, as going through this what is your best advice to parents now to prevent this from happening because as you said we watch you know 30 seconds a minute of something and we don't see anything and obviously these people are smart enough to understand that and they bury it farther in so what is what is there what are mechanisms out there that we can do to kind of know for sure what's going on in these videos and or is there a website we can go to do you know of anything that we can help protect our kids An IT tech um, messaged me with some really good advice and I'll probably share that on my page for parents to have that knowledge to take that advice and I'm actually speaking with a security company who has created an app from what I researched on the link it's, it's a very good app at monitor monitoring activity on phones and electronics so I know those things are very helpful and just you have to you have to step up and monitor if they're gonna be playing on YouTube or kids YouTube you're gonna have to take the time watch it all the way through first and just make sure what is on there is okay for your child to watch it's a lot of hands-on things that is a hard 
harsh lesson for me that I was not monitoring enough. Um, we need to actually almost hope that somebody actually comes up with a website of approved that, you know, uh, somebody that we can trust that's gone through and, and actually watched some of these. So maybe that's a good idea for somebody to do. So now you, you saw her have a panic attack. You weren't sure why. So what is your advice to parents when your children start, like, how do we recognize that this, that something, because some kids don't have panic attacks. Some kids internalize and they, so what signs do we need to be looking for so that we can kind of have the radars going and know, okay, some things. What I've right. learned from this situation is just the change in behavior over time. She was very social before and she I noticed that she was becoming very shy she didn't know how to interact with other kids she was having meltdowns over silly things that you know breathe through this is not it, it it's not the end of the world we need to calm down and sort through but she was having meltdowns she was struggling in school with her behavior um just feeling sad bored if she didn't have her tablet around it's subtle little signs of just changes in behavior that you have now, to have watch you seen the movie bird watch i think it's called bird watch with sandra bullock i have okay yes. so it almost sounds kind of like that like the minute you start watching something it seems to kind of take over these kids and they feel the need to do what they're told to do is it a brainwashing that's going on do you have any idea how they're doing this? i think it just depends on the child's vulner vulnerability, their age. Um, the younger they are, the more impressionable they are. Sure. And they start to believe that this is, it's normal. Instead of your reality of the real world and, and they're interacting in the real world, they have this impression that all this stuff online is real. It is the real world and it just makes the impression on them. And there's some kids who have thicker skin who can ignore things like that. And then there's those that are just very vulnerable to it and listen and feel the need to want to do that. What kind of personality do we need to be very cautious about who may be this vulnerable or, or what could be going on in their life that would make a child very vulnerable? Um, in my own personal experience, my two children are very different. My teenager has the thicker skin. She has more of the personality of you're going to think what you're going to think. It's not going to affect me. Where my seven-year-old, who was affected by this, has a very sensitive personality. She's very sensitive. She has a huge heart. She's empathetic. Mm. If, if that makes sense. And I think that's why she was much more vulnerable to it. Was she also suffering from any kind of bullying or anything that was going on at school that the two might have really triggered together? From what I've learned from her teacher and her, last year she had a problem with the bully, but this year she's not. She's not had any problems with any bullies at school and she does have friends at school. I do believe that this was triggered solely from the internet. Right, so you had an appointment today. That was one of the reasons why uh, we had to schedule around that, and it was with the therapist and your and her school and her teacher. Can you tell me what how this has affected her and what has been a good outcome for her on if any on any of this? Yeah. So. She has been unplugged from screen time in her tablet for two and a half weeks now. She's not had it at all. And I was informed today by her teacher that her educational stats have gone up. Her test scoring, her reading comprehension, everything has gone up. And her behavior has vastly improved in the class. And the therapist? What did the therapist say? The therapist says that she has seen a difference in she's happier we've expressed stories where she's more interactive with other kids now mm -hmm. and she's definitely doing a lot better they're going to continue some more visits but she's definitely already made some progress just yeah. from being away from it there is videos out there right now called moo moo that we just became very recently aware of that are kind of the same kind of things and we'll put those links down um, below as well is there anything you'd like the audience to know because of your experience 
Is there any one thing that you go, if I could talk to every parent in the world, this is what I'd want to say to them? Honestly, communication with your child. Make sure that you've built a relationship that your child can trust you so that they're comfortable enough to express themselves and come to you if the situation arises. I am lucky enough that my daughters and I have a very good relationship. We talk about everything. They're comfortable in coming to me instead of feeling like they have to hide it. They know that I will unconditionally be there for them and love them and help them no matter what. And teaching them self-love. Mm -hmm. Self-love, not listening to other people's opinions and the outside world so they're not as susceptible to those words making such an impression on them. Right. Good advice. Good advice. All right. So for everybody who's watching, please be diligent. Um, keep your eyes open. We really just need to make sure our, our kids know that they are unconditionally loved by us and that even if the rest of the world is saying something about them, that they can come to us in very good communication. Uh, great advice there. Um, so that they actually have the opportunity because like us, they need to express what's going on in their life. They need to be able to go to somebody they can trust. So very good words of wisdom here um, from a mom who's had to go through something very traumatic. And uh, hopefully we can all learn from this and protect our own kids. As always, we want to wish you an awesome day.